evolution of my haircut is pretty simple when I was a kid uh, the, uh, it wasn't me who chose my haircut it was my mom she brought me to the barber shop there was only two or three different haircuts we we did I remember then when my my friend's mom was a barber and he was the most stylish guy uh, always because his mom was a barber I guess it was really challenging for him because mom been experimenting with his haircuts trying out some new ones probably the result not always was what he wanted and when I was I think like 15 years old so that I stopped cutting my hair I just wanted to have a like long hair and by 16 I got the long hair but you know my hair is like a kind of not really curly but like I, I'm like a Goldilock right the Goldilock and it is like it doesn't look really good that's what I did and when I met Laura then the one of the rules was to cut my hair and I said no I will not my hair I, I will not cut my hair but I started to do internship in the tourism company where I really wanted to work and they said Morin can you change your hairstyle they didn't say cut the hair and since that there was a pressure from two sides I cut it my hair just a morning exercise and uh, so yeah, and that's actually an interesting story about I cut my hair and we I have a date with Laura. So I was sitting in a it wasn't really a restaurant but it was like a pub uh, where you can also eat and drink some beer. And I was sitting there and I saw Laura coming in and she passed by and she didn't recognize me. I was so upset actually that she didn't she didn't recognize me with my new haircut i did for her actually right i was so upset i'm a kind of person i don't i don't really like to experiment with my haircuts i in latvia i had one barber and i always went there and she always cut at me the same haircut i liked it so basically what is really important for me it doesn't really matter what happens here on the top it's really important for me that here everything is short it's like a kind of challenge for me with those long hair because it's always like ah, I hate when the hair goes on my ears later on my haircut or my hairstyle was dictated by diving and it was a point when I started cutting really short hair I think starting since we started diving like 2003 then I started to cut really short hair and I don't know it's it was just like a kind of style to cut this three millimeters and I started simply cutting three millimeters and with my that time I was kind of my weight was 95 96 kilogram for my body it's not that much but it looked my face looked really like rounded during one trip to Sudan I decided to go even further uh, I think it was the second day of safari and I decided to shave my head <clears throat> kind of challenge for any one of us is like you're standing in the front of a mirror you're staring at yourself and you're asking yourself am I really going to do it or not that was a kind of the challenge for me so during the safari you are in the middle of the sea with a really really toxic Sun I shaved it off and finally decided to stay all day in the Sun to get some suntan for my head and I think it was a really wrong decision because I don't know which level of the burn I got but what happened at my head just swallow and uh, 
and the lymph started coming out it's so painful i wasn't able even to touch the head yeah that was terrible i remember i woke up in the morning i was um, sleeping outside on a deck because it was so hot and and uh, anyways fresh air stars and so i was sleeping outside on a deck and then everybody woke up for the breakfast and when they saw me for the first time they were laughing so hard but you know my feeling i wake up in the morning i'm trying to open my eyes i'm i'm not able to open them ah oh, i was like a dumplings my eyes look like a dumplings uh, so yeah and and then we went out for diving and just emerging i have to put the mask the mask strap is ah it was so painful and then i went i jumped in the water and my mask is leaking really bad and just because all this part of my head was swollen uh so then then the mask didn't really seal so here there was like a holes and the water just went in in some point in some point the mask because of the strap moved into my face and and then it was okay there's no no water coming in anymore but then when i finished the dive it was really hard to get it off because it was so deep in my face it was like it been sucked into my face and it was oh so never shave your head before the diving trip especially safari it it's the worst thing you can ever do if you're shaving your head i don't know do it before give your skin to a little bit adapt uh wear something i don't know whatever and or put on the big layer of this cream that also helps but don't do what i did because i didn't use any creams the later on it started like all the skin started cracking and by the moment when the safari was over i think we were on two weeks safari so yeah when we reached the cairo before flying back home so then my head looked like a leopard skin the skin was cracked in a smaller pieces like a small pads and it looked like like this kind of story for today news from Bali a couple of days ago the president of Indonesia was here in Ubud and there was a vaccination of 600 plus people who's working in a tourism so it's like a kind of beginning he came here it's a lot of people get vaccinated so the latest news is that Minister of the Health told us or in a press conference said that the Indonesia will be open only April 2022 while the president when he was in Ubud he said that Bali going to be open June July today I was reading about some experimental it's like mock opening the borders so there are two charter charter airplanes coming to Bali and they're going to test it so they will be open only a few places for these guys like Ubud and I think Uluwatu not really sure but it's just that they actually doesn't really matter because it's all experimental thing so if they're going to open only April 2022 then I start actually worry economics is already ruined and of course from this i don't know where they are sitting they of course don't see all the picture i don't understand actually how serious is all this one to keep borders closed i i, I stop understanding why it's still uh, why all the borders are closed all right so i'm not competent enough to talk about this thing so that's why i leave it for more competent people that's something i'm just thinking about all right, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, follow, and see you tomorrow again. Bye.